Yo, what up guys, it's Type D here and in this video I want to talk about masteries which champions in Rachel Legends absolutely need them and which champions can absolutely do without having masteries on them let's talk about them and there is those champions that are right in the middle that will be up to your choice so in this video I want to go over it and I want to talk about it because I was trying to level some champions to get some masteries on them and I was like does this really need masteries or not it's a decision most rage challenge players have to make and sometimes you even take a champion into the mino and get masteries on them without actually knowing if they sh are worth it or not so we'll discuss that if you're kind of confused if you're new to raid and you're thinking about whether you should buy masteries with gems on your and uh, champions or you should totally farm them up I'll pin this video right here at the top, whether it's this way or this way, I forget where my this is. I'll pin it up above and you'll see that video I made about how you can calculate whether it's better to farm masteries or use your gems to buy it all in one go. But if you're a dirty whale spender, you always buy masteries. So straight up, I'll go into my champion pool and this is from where we'll be um, selecting which champions need masteries or which champions do not need masteries. Now before I go into start pointing each of every one of them out there is a general rule you can apply to your roster in case you don't have these specific champions that i'm talking about general rule for pve content that is for dungeons hydra clan boss you know all those other places pve content doom tower content any champions you bring in there who is a damage dealer will need masteries why because against the bosses this masteries is the best way to go about beating bosses or doing damage to bosses right here at the bottom war master in most champions and for three hitters you go with giant slayer but basically anybody who is a damage dealer will want to have that offense masteries against the bosses so it doesn't matter even in clan boss is the best way to do damage so everybody in raid should know that by now so definitely for pve content these masteries are required in all damage dealers so what about your tanky champions what about your healers and revivers now that's where it gets a little bit dicey so these are the champions that i'm talking about that absolutely need masteries damage dealers can i give some examples of damage dealers you might use in pve content ninja is one example another example of a damage dealer you might want to use in pve content maybe frozen banshee is another example <laughs> so there are lots of examples like that frozen banshee that's for clan boss or for the um, dragon boss right poison damage even ice golem and then you have people like um, let me scroll down a little bit further for the hydra you have people like um, inquisitor shamel that's an epic and you always want to get that masteries also so that's how champions like this do damage even if their gear that they have on them on themselves have zero attacks no much crit rate zero crit rate no crit damage with this war master mastery on them they can add a little bit of damage to the battle not a little bit sometimes even the damage they do through war master it's it's more than the damage they do through their artifacts and accessories build that's just the truth because that war master and giant slayer hits do damage to the bosses based on a percentage of the boss's hp that's why it hits so so hard and that's the major contributing factor to most champions damage numbers if they don't have good artifacts so it's extremely important for damage dealers for pve content now i'll not talk about pvp yet because that's a, an entirely different beast so that's an example of champions who absolutely need masteries any champion you're bringing against bosses will do damage so i've given some example of damage dealers let me see if i can scroll and find a little bit of more damage dealers and um an amiga is a damage dealer you can use for spider right so an amiga for even um what do you call it now for fire knight is also awesome for that content to so keep the tomita down and the scarab boss also is also for that content so he needs that um, mastery definitely royal guard is a good one and a good example and um, venomage there are lots of them any damage dealer just point and pick it even this champion can be used a little bit in doom tower content and that's another example for even for, for even especially faction wars a lot of people go there and fight against the boss and you don't have enough damage and it keeps taking turns and you die if you have most of your champions in this war master or giant slayer masteries when you go into the faction wars it is a lot easier although some people don't think it's worth farming masteries for faction war champions if you have the gear it's not needed but if your gear is not that much your masteries can help you get there and do a little bit more damage and survive a little longer 
all right that's the first set of category that absolutely need masteries you can't do without them if you're bringing them against bosses on wave content also they can help there you absolutely need to put masteries on them all right now to the extreme case now champions that never ever you should even bother about putting masteries on them <laughs> can i even think of one i'll look i'll look a little bit further through my inventory and see if i can just think of one champion that absolutely does not need mastery on them a second a second law. if you build your first law, everybody knows you need like two allows you need like two vogots you need like um two um ugo there are champions you need two of the first one could have masteries the second one you might skip out on the masteries a second cold heart <laughs> Well, that's kind of unfair. If you need them for the spider, you absolutely need masteries. But the second one, any champion you're building two or three of, the second one absolutely does not need to have masteries. I can remember that because my second cold heart or the third cold heart that I built for Doom Tower had secret rooms, right? I built that cold heart for that content. Guess what? I needed her in a stone set gear. I don't know if she's in the vault right now or she's out of the vault. I think this is the cold heart I'm talking about. Does she have masteries? No. Which set, artifact set do I have on that? Stun set. Will I put um, War Master or Giant Slayer on this champion? No. When I go towards Masteries, I was probably looking forward to getting the one that increases the chances of placing stun. And it's this one, right? So, there are champions who, even if you want to put Masteries on them, you want, want to go a different way. They are not there for damage. They are just there to do something else. So, that's a few examples of champions that I will never go into. Like, this second cohort, I will never go farming Masteries for her. I don't think it's that necessary. Except you have nothing else to do in the game. Nowhere else to spend resources. And like, oh, I have 1000 energy. Oh, my second cohort. No, there are other champions in the game who are absolutely needing Masteries right now. That I do not have it. So cold a second cold out or a third cold out, it's not the champion to get master resolve. So that's a, a one extreme example. And which other example did I give? The Vogots that you probably need for to auto farm Doom uh, Boomer or Boss. The second one might not need master is why the first one was already built and being used in clan boss. The second one can absolutely just be there for the HP and healing and stacking up that um, high stats. And which other champion in raid do I think does not need masteries? I've given some example of champions you need you build two of. That's a specific one. Um, let me see if there's any other champion. Champions for faction wars. Let me just throw it out there now. I know I already said that they might need it, but guess what? If I need to build if I mean I need to beat a faction right now, and I'm building champions for that faction. I've beaten all the stages of that faction except the last boss and that last boss is so difficult for me to beat because um i'm using a rare or two rare champions right there and then i need to build a team that can beat that last boss i already have every other champions ready but i'm using two rares that are weak that's an example right there of a weak rare that well he's not that weak for this he's actually awesome for this faction but let me just give you an example that you have two these three slots already taken you're losing the battle then you want to bring up your, a good epic or somebody that can help you with this faction you don't need to just get this champion to 60 you can test him at 50 you're trying to beat the boss once remember so you can test the champions at 50 that means you don't need to put masteries on champions that are 50 so that's a, a good example of champions you should not put masteries on champions who are at level 50 do not need to get masteries the most reason why we put um, masteries on champion is because we are taking them to 60. So a champion that you know you will never take to 60. For newer players who are coming into raid, they get a, uh, a champion like War Maiden, right? From the campaign. Right now in raid in 2023, War Maiden is no longer taken to level 60. Back in my day, three years ago, you definitely need to take her to 60. She's your best. Why? Because back then it was difficult to get any other decrease defense champion she was the best and she's gonna serve you in everywhere except the clan boss <laughs> so until you're lucky enough to pull the terrell or somebody else who can bring decrease defense and decrease attack she stays in all your team and even when you don't need her anymore she stays in your faction war team right here so that's the reason why people used to take her to 60 i'm just giving an example of champions who no longer take to 60 
that maybe that will be for a different video but she's an example of champion who stays at 50 even really query tender is another good example fine you do healing you do revive and all that but for the early game you don't need to take those champions of 60 and you do not need to get masteries on them so that's the extreme case now what about in the middle starts champions who are just in the middle they are like it will depend whether you want to take them to get masteries on them or not that will depend on your resources and where you use them those type of champions are mostly in the support role tank role so revivers supports tanks an example of a tank that might not need masteries <laughs> well maybe <laughs> i know that's a bad example chris is a good tank um what's his name now Uso Osoga the war color is a good tank this champion is not built with damage um, mastery right so their need for masteries is kind of on the back burner after your damage dealers get masteries compulsory that's when you put it also go into the um into the mino to also get masteries you don't run her with your damage dealer to get masteries at the same time you're slowing down your damage dealers um, capability of getting masteries fast so you keep her aside and use only the damage dealer and your and somebody else to clear the mino and get masteries fully on your damage dealer before you you have uh, resources to do something else and then you might be want to spend it on somebody like a tank so that's another example of champions who are in the team most of their skills if you check their skills this is also, also how you know whether they did master masteries or not most of their skills will be something that does not hit the enemy this is also a good indicator so this in this case our a3 will just put an ally protection and a threaten if our a2 also does something like a revive or something and her a1 is the only skill that will hit the enemy that champion does not need mastery well right there in the middle whether you get masteries on them will de be determined by how much resources you have or whether this getting the masteries on them will help their a3 and a2 like um this other one that will give her a little bit of tankiness and suck the damage away from your allies and the damage will come to her bulwark so it's not really helping my team so to say it, it is in a way but you can do without it that's what i'm trying to say but if you have the resources go in there and get it so i've explained the champions that absolutely need it i've explained some champions that absolutely do not need it right now i'm talking about the champions who is like 50 50 will determine will be determined by whether you have resources for them or not to get it so right there we are talking about the middle champion so i'm talking about tanks revivers healers well mostly speed boosters always need masteries because of this timely intervention right you definitely want it on speed boosters you can speed boosters are one of apart from damage dealers they do need it to go fast well when um, your allies begin to go down in in hp or something so those are the champions that absolutely need masteries champions that do not need them i don't want to go all through my roster and begin to point each one of them i just showed you some few examples of them so with these few examples i'm hopefully you can apply it to your entire account that's all i have for you guys let me know in the comments if you disagree with this um, review of champions who did masteries and champions who don't which of these champions i mentioned i'm absolutely getting it wrong or champions you took to you got masteries on them and you regret doing so all right that's all i have for you guys today hopefully you like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more rich channel content that i post on a daily basis i'll see you guys in the next one later guys